If you've been on the hunt for a stitch that's as easy to crochet as it is interesting to look at, well, here it is. The feather stitch has only a single row to repeat, and the result is a thick and squishy and extremely warm fabric. So the next time you're in the mood for a tune out and enjoy kind of project, start with a row of foundation half double crochet stitches. Just make sure you end with an odd number for the rest of the pattern to work out. When it's as wide as you need it to be, chain one and turn, and this chain does not count as a stitch. Now the second row is a quick little setup row. You'll half double crochet in the first stitch here since this chain doesn't count as a stitch. Then chain one and skip the next stitch and half double crochet in the next. Keep going like that to the end of the row. Now as far as yarn goes, I haven't found many options that don't work with this stitch. Since the stitch is inherently thick, I would stay away from bulky or super bulky yarns unless you really want the project to be extra thick, like maybe for a rug. But for regular projects, I found that lightweight and medium weight yarns strike the happy balance for drape and functionality. It is a bit of a yarn hog though, so just keep that in mind when planning your projects. So at the end of that little setup row, you'll chain one and turn, and here's the one and only repeat row. You'll half double crochet in the first stitch again, chain one, and then we'll feather stitch like this. Then chain one to finish it off. And feather stitch again. And you'll repeat all that to the last chain one space. Now I will say for this row, that second motion of the feather stitch is worked in those free or open foundation half double crochet stitches and that won't be the case on the following rows so just keep that in mind for now it'll look and feel a little open here at the end of the row but we'll kind of fill this in on the next row so half double crochet in your last stitch here chain one and turn and half double crochet in the first stitch So this time we don't have those free half double crochets to work into, but we have this space right here and that's where we work the second leg of the feather stitch. As great as the feather stitch is, it really does have one tiny issue. It can be really hard to match gauge if you're following a pattern. So the height of the stitch is based on how high you pull up during that feather stitch yarn overs. And you may have to experiment a little bit with hook sizes and your tension to match the gauge of a pattern. If you're improvising though, I wouldn't worry about it too much. One of the best qualities of the feather stitch is that it's reversible, which makes it really practical for a variety of projects. The simplicity of it makes it an excellent choice for projects like blankets and pillows and even scarves if you use a lightweight yarn. And those are all projects that you can improvise without even having a pattern. When you're finished with your swatch or your project, it's a good idea to add a couple of finishing rows. So here's what I like to do. You'll chain one and turn and half double crochet in the first stitch like you're used to doing and half double crochet in the next feather stitch. then half double crochet in the next chain one space and half double crochet in the feather stitch and just keep going to the end of the row. Now that gets us pretty far, but it doesn't match the foundation half double crochets exactly. So we can do one more thing 
to make it look a little bit better. You'll chain one in turn and slip stitch through both loops of every stitch. When you do that, it's not exactly as a foundation half double crochet row, but it's pretty darn close. Now you may notice this stitch in some of these images from our 2023 crochet challenge for Warm Up America. Even though that challenge has concluded, we still have the pattern available for you if you wanna make a blanket with this stitch. I'll have that linked in the description below. Now if you thought this stitch was great, here's another I think you'll love just as much. Happy hooking, and I'll see you over there.